Gorgeouses. Welcome back to a new video. Welcome back to my channel if you are a subscriber. If you are new here, welcome. Welcome. My name's Kel and I live over here in Fortaventura and I upload videos all the damn time. So today, should we film a let's get ready with me? Should we, should we see if we can manage that? I mean, we've mastered vlogs, we've mastered hauls and shopping together because we do that a lot. Ow, bugger. But I want to get ready today because we are going on Brett and Kel's day of fun. I don't know where we're going, I don't know what we're doing, but I just thought, let's just do a super quick, well, I kind of feel like I need to be glam, you know? And just a little, just to let you guys know, my makeup that I'm using right now, I have put myself on a ban to buy any beauty products, unless it's essential. So like, I need soap. Your girl's got a wash. I need shampoo and conditioner, and I need, just a little secret, I need double wear. I need that like I need water. I've tried swapping it out for the NYX, which is good. Ooh, rubbish. Which is good. It's a good foundation, but it's not double wear. So, but everything that I'm using today is trying to get rid of all my old shit. So, right, the first thing that I'm going to use is my aloe. I use this as a makeup base and I love it. Obviously, you guys know that I live over here, so it's hot. I'm in the sun all the time. So, oh, I need to get my mirror. Um, so I need to be looking after my skin. I was gonna clean my mirror <laughs> before I sat down to film this, and I didn't. So if you see me looking over here, we're looking in the mirror. If Faith can do some incredible editing, I can't think of the word. Hacks, not hack, skills, editing skills, then she'll do it and you'll be able to see me closer up but I'm just gonna put this on as my base. <laughs> you also know that my base is also down here. I do the whole lot. I'm amazed sometimes that I don't put foundation, like a full body thing. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna put on, guys, please don't tell me I'm the only one that's makeup looks like this. So I don't have a makeup bag, I keep my makeup here in one of the Ikea baskets because I think I have no reason for it, that's just where I keep it. So everything gets sloshed around together. Now I actually have to just put this onto my knee because <laughs> it likes to come out in like a monkey consistent did you see that? It it's just fallen down my bra. I like to prime the boobs too. That's what we do here. And um, guys, do you reckon this, this could possibly be my first and last get ready with me? We'll see. Just get the rest off of rest of my body. get a bit out my belly button. Nice. Nice. Cleaning the mirror on my boob. Classy. Right, foundation. So I am gonna use, no, the first thing I'm gonna do is put this back in the basket so I can see what I'm working with. I am gonna use the Stila foundation, not my fave. None of this is my fave. I am mixing all this on my knee because that's the boozy, boozy? I'm not boozy. Boozy bitch that I am. My NYX. I'm gonna try and get as much out as I can. It was quite a bit actually. Probably didn't need that much steel. And I'm also gonna mix a smidge of my Bare Minerals. Now, like I said before, this is getting rid of all my... <sighs> that was a lot. Okay, let's mix. 
let's mix. The other thing to say is my office is hot. It's a hot box in here. Right, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Good match, Cal. Do you know what, guys? I do my makeup every day, sometimes twice a day. And it only goes wrong when I film for you. Right, this is a lot of foundation and a dark colour. Let's try and get in there with So we are now going to go in with concealer. This is at the very end of its life. It's going to go. So concealer I haven't always done, but the last couple of years my face has been telling me I have to. I go all above my eyes because I use it as like a base. And then I leave it like a little second to go tacky because I always find that that's better. Right, we're gonna put this one away because we didn't use it. I'm gonna tie my little, just cause this bit is all really wrecking me off. So I've still got a copious amount of foundation on my knee. Right, I'm going to dab this in with my finger. I always try and drag it out so that it makes my, not drag out the process, drag out the concealer because it makes my eyes look a little bit brighter. Dab it on the top. Now I'll go in with the Beauty Blender. So just to make sure that it's all patted in. Specifically where I want it. Do you know what? This looks so much better in real life than what you guys can see on the camera. So I'll just go back on top with foundation. Do we do about eight layers? Yeah. Okay. Now I have got a foundation here on the knee that I need to try and put back in a bottle because there's a lot. Okay. Wet wipe. So we've got a really beautiful looking knee. <laughs> Got to open the door. Right, so eyebrows, 
I'm going to brush them up. And then I'm just going to go in with this one. It's the NYX Tame and Frame. It is so empty and so dried up. So I used the very last of my setting spray. Look at this. Minging. Um, but I can't replace it until it's gone. So I am just literally, now I get asked all the time about the way that I do my eyebrows because I do them quite a lot on time lapses. So look at this, I do them like a scary, not Halloween, like a cartoon character. Let me show you. So I go from here and I go up in a point and then I come down to the farthest point, furthest point, farthest. But that's how I get my shape and then I fill in the rest. Let me just show you. There. Can you see that? So super sketchy. Like Sporticus, I think. there so that's how I get the shape that I want and then I just literally fill in the rest I could really do with another setting spray but I don't think I've got any Okay, and then I'm just gonna go over with a dark eyeshadow. So, what is this? The Kat Von D. Look how lanky this is, but I'm gonna go in with the darkest brown that I've got. Okay, brows done. So now I am going to do my contour with the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, which is equally as disgusting. So I'm gonna go with these two colors here. I try to mix them, then I take an angled brush and I beat the hell out of it. So I'm just literally gonna go here where I want my cheekbones. And the whole time I'm trying to drag my face up. Down my nose. Right, the next thing I'm gonna do is powder. I don't often do this, but it is hot today and I don't wanna lose my makeup. So I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills, I think, translucent setting powder. So I'm gonna use a big brush, but a tiny amount of powder. 
like that amount and it's going to go under my eyes under my armpits no I'm just tricking but it is hot today right so we've powdered and I've kind of pressed it into the skin I normally prefer a much dewy look but I prefer to keep my makeup on so we had to powder I'm gonna go back over my contour just to make sure I let it pop Okay, then we are going to bronze. So, I'm still using the same palette to bronze, but I'm taking the middle shade. And I'm just gonna go on the cheeks of my apple. Cheeks of my apple. Do you think that's actually real, Cal? On the apple of my cheeks and pat it in, but bring it up. That's what I'm doing. I'm going over my nose. so. Wherever the sun would hit me is where I'm going. I mean, that's kind of the motto of my life, you know. Right, bronzed. Can't put that away yet because we also use it for eyeshadow. Right, now blush. I'm just using this one here. I think it's a Mercadona one, but I like it. It's a warm, I like it. So, over again, top of my cheek, top of my nose, patting it in and dragging it out. Anyone else pull like ridiculous faces when they're doing their makeup? Okay, so I'm happy with that. I think I just need a tiny bit of bronzer just to blend the two. Yeah, that's better. Okay, highlighter, let's do highlighter. I always do the same. So Anastasia again, Anastasia, whatever she is, highlighter. I'm gonna use the same brush. Bugger, let's go with the same brush. Dabbed it on, I'm gonna go across here, just at the very top. That looks a lot on camera. It looks a lot in the mirror. We'll go with it. Same with the other side, cross my nose, then we'll get a smaller brush, this kind of one, and we'll go over my nose and do a little milk moustache. I'm also going to go in the corner of my eye. No, I'm not. Fool. I have a white pencil that I go under my brows. There. And then we blend it out with the same brush. Now we're gonna do eyeshadow. So, oh, my eyeshadow is the quickest, easiest now. So I'm going back in with this. I'm gonna use this one, this one, this one. I have a little of all of them. And then I'm gonna do my whole lid. Trying to focus it on the outer corner more. But this is my lazy girl makeup that I do every day. It's 
smaller brush. Go in with the eyeshadow. I'm going to go for this one here, which is a like warm brown. Outer corner blending inwards. Okay, the last one, I'm going to do a silly girl, bigger brush, that darker colour that we used on our brows, I'm just patting that into the very outer corner because we are going to blend it in a second with another colour. Okay, now I'm gonna go back on top and I'm gonna take this like orangey, bear with, this bright orangey here and smudge it all in together but keeping the dark colour on the outside. Ta-da! Now, lower lash line. The darkest, darkest, darkest on the outer corner underneath See that? Same on the other eye. Yeah, and the obligatory face. Ooh. Now we pop him. Now I just need the bright orange on the inner corner going out. You see that? Oh, nearly there. Right, all the eyeshadows back, all the brushes back. Now I am gonna do a teeny weeny little wing, but with a brown liner. So I don't tend to go for black unless it's like out, out. So I'm gonna go tiny little wing. Tiny wing, lost it. Right, mascara is a Mercadonna <laughs> mascara. I have still got this one actually, it needs to go in my empties. It was the um, Wilco one from when I was in the UK, which was good, but then it started making my eyes burn, which is not good. Tell me, guys, in the comments, if when I say to you this is a wet mascara, you know what I mean. And when I say a wet mascara, it is like you have to be so careful that it's only on your lashes because one tiny little shake of the hand, we're in trouble. Okay. Lashes done. I am gonna do the lower lash is, but I need to wait until this has dried. So now, oh, actually, one thing that you guys don't have to do, I have to take the makeup off of my mole. Because I'm proud of it. I, I want it to be there. 
lips. Now, I've got two lip liners that I use. So look how tiny they are. Pathetic. Um, oh, Hannah, potato. Um, I'm gonna sharpen these quickly. I use this for the outer, outer line, and then I fill in my lips with this one. It's quite a process, you know, guys. It's quite a rigmarole doing my lips. So sharpen this one just a smidgey more. Okay, I won't talk. Outer lips lined. Sharpness this has got like a like a, another day in it, that's it. So we're gonna fill it in now. The next thing is lipstick. I've just got this. Oh God, it's so on the way out. I, I have got other lipsticks though. I think I've got a MAC one in there. Oh, runway here, or, I'm not sure, but I could use that one. The next thing I'm going to use is the NYX. It's lip gloss at one end and lipstick at the other, like a liquid lipstick, but it's like a stay on all day one and it does. Done. And I'm just going to use a brush just to make sure that the lip liner is blend, blended, blended into everything else. Okay, now the last thing is the lower lashes. Then we'll be good. Then we can move on to the hair. Oh. that wet formula out and proud. That's a lot, but we go with it. So, now I would just... So I'm gonna wait for it to dry, right? So I can wipe it off. I can't do that. I can't, I can't, I can't. Ha. Huh. I mean, I've got no concealer left under my eyes, but I don't look like Aunt Sally. Okay, that's, that's a bit better. What I was gonna say is now I would douse my face in setting spray but I haven't got any I'm not allowed to buy any it's fine so hair last night I put my hair in heatless curls which is oh my god my desk looks awful do that later um but I let it dry naturally just stood by the balcony door <laughs> and then I literally just put my dressing gown string in and slept with it last night and have been on the dog walk with it in this morning. So I'm just gonna let it out. 
I do get comments on this all the time. My sister has just bought me an actual gadget from Shein. So I'm, when she comes over, I'm desperate to see if that's any better. I mean, it's got to look better than me sleeping in a dressing gown string. But I don't mind it. There's nothing bougie here. Whew. It does feel nice to take it off. And then, I just drag my fingers through it. Put a little bit of oil in to keep the curl. And that, I wanna put my elbows on the table, but I can't because I've got too much. Ugh. Okay, that is it. That is my everyday, apart from when I'm going to the gym, makeup and hair. I hope you've enjoyed this video guys. I am so sorry about the poor quality of one me, two my makeup, and three my filming skills, and my application skills. But this is me. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget if you haven't already to subscribe to the video, hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted every time I upload, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.